life and in NHL 17, time is money. Wait, what? Time is money? Okay, time is money. It has been and it always will be. Now, there's no better way to exemplify this than an NHL 17's contract application process. So right now, you often get bombarded with contracts expiring all at the same time, and what you have to do is fairly excruciating. So the current process works as follows. You select each player one by one, going from contract to contract, going into the player screen, applying a contract, backing out, getting the next player, bringing him up, applying a contract, back and forth. You continue this for your entire team and it actually takes a significant amount of time. I ran through this with 12 players applying contracts to each of them and it ended up coming out at thir around 113 seconds to do only 12 contracts so there wasn't even my full team. So now that equates to about 9.4 seconds per contract. Now that doesn't seem like a lot but I'm going to show you how it adds up to impact the grand scheme of NHL 17 HUT as a whole. So as you can see 9.4 seconds per contract Let's say a person plays two games per day, which means the contracts will expire once every week, which means you have to apply 20 contracts once per week. 20 being uh, one contract for each player on your team. You have to apply that once every week, so 52 weeks in a year, which equals 1,040 contracts, which you know is an astounding amount of coins to begin with. Multiply that by 9.4 seconds per contract, equates to two hours and 43 minutes per year. Um, so now if you want to translate that into games played, that's around eight games. You get about a thousand coins per game. So that's a thousand, that's only 8K per player per year. Now, when you spend two, and a, two hours and 43 minutes working the market, you could say you could average about 10,000 coins per hour working the market. Well, that translates to 27,000 coins per player. Now, when you look at the total players, this is just PlayStation. There's around 188,000 players currently playing HUT. Now, when all those players play games, um, if they were to play games with the amount of time that they lost, applying contracts under the current process, that's 1.5 billion coins in games or 5.1 billion coins working the market. So what does that mean? Well, I'm gonna show you how much money could be injected into the market and how much wealth could be added to players if a new process is used. So basically, what I'm proposing here is just, you, when you go to apply a contract, it's going to bring up a screen and it automatically knows which players uh, have their contracts expired. So it's basically like Oprah Winfrey. And when you apply contracts to your whole team, you're gonna be done in about 42 seconds compared to 113. To apply the same amount of contracts, that'll save you a bunch of time. And as I've said, time is money, boys. All right, so that, now using the new method, it equates to around 3.5 seconds per contract. Now do it now carrying around the same math as I did before, that's 1,040 contracts, multiplied by three and a half seconds per contract, and that'll end up being of an hour and seven minutes over the year. Convert that into games you could have played, that's four games you could have played in that time. A thousand coins per game, again, 4,000 coins per player per year or one hour and seven minutes work in the market, you could make around 10K uh, within that time frame. So had people spent all that time that they had saved with the new contract system, that would have added an extra 750 million coins to the hot market to, you know, for people to buy players. And if people spend all the time uh, that they would have saved with the new contract system working the market, that would have saved them an extra 3.2 billion coins annually. Again, coins that players can use, you know, to buy players. This would have driven the price of players down in a natural way, not the way that it's being done with sets. Um, would have allowed the $80 player to not spend any coins and just save time rather than spending their time uh, building their team and applying contracts to their players. Um, they could be, you know, working in the market, buying packs, um, etc. So guys, 
Um, let me know what you think about this new idea to change the, uh, the contract application process. I know it's a tiny change per player, but it could drastically affect um, the market, make it easier for the $80 player to you know, afford better players uh, going forward. So guys, leave a like if you want to see more of my ideas on how to improve NHL 17. Um, thank you guys for watching. Subscribe if you're new, and I'll see you boys in the next video.